now again n shape is given to you this is the half circular shape given to you and we can a b c d e f and again a now the current flowing in this section is shown in this direction okay now the magnetic field and this center will be o uh, this is the center of this two circle so now you'll have to find the magnetic field total magnetic field at center so here magnetic field bo due to ab equal to magnetic field o due to de part is zero because o lies along the wire ab and de second b due to o due to b c d okay now the current is flowing and by using right hand thumb rule we can find that the magnetic direction of magnetic field will be downward means into the plane so and the value will be simply mu not i upon 4r and it is downward so by using cross this is the simple let this radius is r2 given to you and the radius of this upper circle is r1 so this will be v not i upon r2 and the simple v not due to wire a f e this is what v not i upon 4 r and here r is what the radius of circle a e a f e so in this case the again the direction will be downward means into the plane so the net magnetic field will be what the net magnetic field is the total sum of these three all three magnetic field okay so b net is equal to bo due to wire ab plus bo due to wire bcd plus bo due to wire afp okay so this value will be simply 0 plus mu not i upon 4 r2 plus mu not i upon 4 r1 so by solving this value we can find this as 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r1. this is the net magnetic field at 4 now the same question is like that suppose the wire is given to you and this is like this the first wire and this is the second wire ok now the current is flowing in this wire like this as shown in this diagram this is the total current I this gets divided into two parts at this point so I2 and this is I1 this is simple R this is simple small r this is the center O and this is again I now again we will have to find the magnetic magnetic field at this point let this is A B C D E and F so at center the magnetic field value of magnetic field we will have to find so B O due to AC is equal to BO due to DF is equal to 0 obviously the point lies along the AC and DF ok and DCD it will be simply the direction of the current at CD is like this means this is anti-clockwise so using the thumb rule we can find that the direction of magnetic field at the center due to wire CD will be outward ok so now B O due to CD this is simply outward so using this mu naught I upon 4 R 
and this is outward means simply by showing a dot here and again b o due to b e this will be simply mu not i upon 4 r and due to the current is clockwise the magnetic field will be inward so this is like this okay and we know that the radius is capital r so this is now r is greater than capital r is greater than small r so obviously b o due to b e is less than b o due to c d okay so now the net magnetic field will be b o c d minus b o b e okay and this will be along the direction of b o c d which is outward okay so the net magnetic field will be outward and the value of this field will be mu naught i upon 4 1 upon r minus 1 upon capital r okay now again the question is given to you suppose these are the long infinite length wire and this is along z axis this is along x axis and this wire is along y axis now we will have to find the magnetic field at point o okay this is the point o which has same distance from wire which is along the y axis this is d and this distance is also same d now the wire is long so we can draw this wire like this up to infinity length and this wire is along like this up to infinity length okay now the current which is coming along this wire is 2i this current is also i and this current is also i okay now we'll have to find the magnetic field at o now we know that bo this is simply a wire which is coming to this direction and the wire gets divided along the two wire now you'll have to find the magnetic field at o so the magnetic field at o will be magnetic field due to z uh, wire which is the main wire okay let this wire is 1 plus magnetic field o at magnetic field o due to wire which is along x that this is direction and b along y this is zero because the point is lying along the length of the wire okay b o x this is simply what mu naught i upon 4 pi and what is the direction this is simply outward plus mu naught i upon 4 pi d this is inward due to the wire y okay so now the net magnetic field will be 0 plus we can write it down as mu naught i upon 4 pi d minus mu naught i upon 4 pi d and overall if i can assume dot so this will be totally 0 means the net magnetic field at point o will be 0 now the coming out of that question a proton is moving with velocity v which is given to you 10 raise power 4 meter per second okay magnetic field which is given 5 tesla now this is given that this is simply proton and now this is given that the velocity is parallel to magnetic field now this is given it means theta the angle between v and b is zero okay so theta is zero so f is equal to q v cross b this is simply proton proton has the charge of value e v p sin theta now sin is zero degree so this overall value is zero because e v b sin zero degree this sin zero degree is what e v b into zero this is zero so net force on the proton is zero now equation is given suppose a step down transformer is given to us and the following parameter is given for this transformer now vs and is there will be vp and ip okay now vp is given 220 volt <coughs> vs is given 11 volt 
and IP is also given 5 ampere and IS is given 90 ampere. Now efficiency is being asked. Efficiency of transformer is what? Simply P out by P in. P out is what? PS into IS. P in is VP into IP. VS is simply 11 into 90 on 220 into 5. This is simply 90.9. So 9 by 10 it means 0 0.9. So percentage efficiency is what? 0 0.9 into 100. This is 90%. Means this transformer will be 90% efficient. And obviously, a general theoretical question: the total charge induced in a conductor that is moving in the magnetic field depends upon. So Q induced is proportional to simply the rate of change of mag magnetic flux through the that conductor. So Q induced proportional to rate of change of flux and E induced means induced EMF will also depend on rate of flux change. Okay. So this is the general phenomenon.